Hello and welcome back. This is Frederick from Tech Nordic. First today on this video I would like to thank you some people I met during our yearly conference we have in US. I would like to especially thank the guys from uh, Comtest from South Africa enlightened me about a lot of things. And I also would like to thank Testpool from Poland for a you know, great experience, great learning, great people. So hope to see you next year. So today's video we're going to discuss a little bit how to tune antennas, why it's important, and I try to make this very simple. So I have some questor, uh, customers asking me, so what can we do, you know, what can we do with Norris A306 in terms of tuning antenna? And I tell them not very much. So in this video I will show the RSA 500 series, but this is also, you know, you can work on this with RSA 600. So the idea is that you have a kind of a transmitter, a transmitter system, I put a TX here. And you have an antenna going up like this, very nice. And you put power in this direction over here. So there's a kind of measurement you can do, it's normally standing way, but there's also a return loss measurement, they're, they're the same, you know, same math. So what you want to do is transmit power and have most of the transmitted power go out of the antenna. And we can measure this by looking at how much of the power is coming back again. And that's the return loss. So no return loss uh, is, uh, <laughs> is not good and a lot of return loss is good. And the same is for the receiver. If you have an antenna goes into your DUT here for the receiver side, you want to make sure that that antenna is set up, you know, have the same sweet spot as I call it. So here there are you know, things coming in and you want to make sure that most of it goes to this one and not reflecting back. So I will uh, show you this, how you do this a little bit. So first off, we start by using this, and this kind of return loss measurement, we go into this one, this is an option, I remove the spectrum, and we will look at how it works. So from this perspective, you know, you can see we have a factory cal, and I will just move a little bit of antenna here, and I did this before, we can look at some sweet spots here, so this is an antenna number one. So what this tells you, is that if I move one of the markers here in the way it's that this sweet spot is over here and the reading is like minus 87 dB 523 megahertz. I can change this if, if you want to have it displayed as VSVR instead and of course that's like uh, the master record is here so it's like 1.12 it's pretty good. So if you look at this again, you know, we can see, oh, minus 25 dB, I, I read the wrong marker. So this is the marker here, it's related to this one. The marker over here is related to this one. My fault. So I have two identical antennas. So I would just change these antennas. They're not very good antennas. This is a standard Tektronix demo antenna. But if you look at this, you suddenly realize that they're not really tuned to the same frequency. So I will use this as a reference. I will take the right marker. I will put it down here. So at 533, 523 megahertz, this is the sweet spot for this antenna. I will use this soon to, uh, to generate an RF signal over the air and we can do some simple measurements. So, so going back with my other antenna, and there is the thing that you can tune. So we had the marker reference tuned at the sweet spot of the other antenna and they're a little bit off. What you can do in this case, I will just bend the antenna a little bit. I will bend, I will bend, I will bend. And at one point when there's bend, we will end up in almost the same sweet spot, making sure that the, this RX and TX system will work together. That the uh, TX system will transmit more power in the air and the receiver antenna will get more power into the DUT. So now we're going to change picture. I'm going to add the spectrum view. It's a standard one here. So yes, you can use this as a spectrum analyzer. I will just remove this. And you can see that the marker, you know, came back from the two, uh, 523 is coming back from the other measurements. So the other thing that I get some questions about is a little bit about the interface here. So I will do it shortly, repeat this one. So there's control down here for the spectrum where we set the center frequency. 
the ref level and the span and the resolution bandwidth. The resolution bandwidth over here you can also change over here and here's where you can also put video bandwidth if you like to do that. So I connected my antenna and uh, let's see if we get something out here. Good and I will put the RF on and right now we can see that we have some RF and I will just make this sure that we have this as a peak detect number two. And now we will strap through some frequency here. Hopefully. Uh, I need to push frequency button. I'm sorry for that. And I need to go here. Now I can tune the frequency a little bit. And you will in the end see a kind of an envelope. So you can see it's moving up. And we know where the sweet spot should be. So moving this a little bit and you can see the sweet spot is not, I mean, it's not really here, is it? Can you see the sweet spot? It should be over here. So I move, I move, I move, I move, I move. And you can see it's not tuned. And that's the reason why I didn't bend my antenna. So I will place myself now and have the marker over the top. Now I will bend my antenna a little bit. And I will bend it more and 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 more. At one point you will see a difference here. Hopefully you can see it now. And going 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 forward now trying to do this measurement. So and then I have the M1 which I placed down here, which was where it was before. And we can see that there's a in this case a 3 D B gain. Two three D B gain. So this is what it's all about in terms of sweeping. So I can sweep this one now one back again and you can see that it it's a different shape. So this was a very simple tool for you to use to make sure that you have your antenna tuned, the sweet spot of your antenna is tuned to the same frequency and they're not always tuned at the same frequency. And here is where the RSA 500 really can come in to help you looking at the signal. I hope you enjoyed this short video. There will be more videos to come. And if you have any suggestions, just drop me a mail. I repeat my mail now. It's frederick.nordwall, W-A-L-L, -L, at tektronics.com. Thank you for watching.